Hey everybody, welcome to my first painting tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how I paint the Cleaved, a Chaos Space Marines Nurgle Warband. The colors uh, we're going to be primarily using are kind of an off pink gray tone with uh, black ooze and rust coming out of the joints. Here's a quick list of the paints we'll be using. And here we go. I start off with airbrushing the Reaper Master Series HD Ashen Brown color. Uh, this is part of their high density paint color line. It's kind of a mix between dark gray and like a purple tone. Uh, it's been slightly thinned out, not too much, um, just a little one-to-one -one with the Vallejo airbrush thinner. Oh, in case I didn't mention it, I did prime the figure gray with Vallejo polyurethane primer. Here I'm applying heavy warm gray, one of the Vallejo game color uh, heavy opaque colors. Um, this paint's a little bit thicker, so it's thinned two to one with airbrush thinner. And I apply that to the entire model. I create a wash from the ashen brown uh, reaper color <clears throat> using a 50-50 mix of distilled water and matte medium with a couple of drops of flow aid added for, uh, to increase the flow. And this is applied liberally onto the entire model. Once the wash is dried thoroughly, I go back in with heavy warm gray. This is a thinned out mix, uh, pretty much the same mix as the airbrush consistency one to one with, um, I use the wa water instead of the airbrush thinner. I go in and pa paint all of the broad areas, leaving the wash into the recesses. Basically bringing the color back and sharpening it up. Heavy Warm Gray is a really nice color. It kind of dries a little bit on the pink side with a touch of purple in it. When it goes on, it's very close to white. So the color actually intensifies as it dries. I'm being very careful to leave the wash in the grooves, maintaining that as a shadow. I add a little ceramite white to the heavy warm gray mix to create my first edge highlight. Actually my only edge highlight. You may be asking yourself why I picked to do pick the cleaved to paint. Um, I was going through my paints and I saw heavy warm gray and I kept thinking to myself, it's supposed to be a gray color, but it's really pinkish. And then I started reading about all the different formulas for painting this warband from the Chaos Space Marines book, uh, the, from the Codex. But they all seemed very complicated to get this color that I had in my hand in this bottle. So I figured this would be a perfect time to try it out. Plus, it's a really cool looking scheme. So, After the edge highlighting, I blacken in areas that I'm going to have be metallic. So these spots here, the joints, the skulls, the, the weapons. Just using Abaddon Black, use whatever black you have, it's fine.
After the black is dry, I apply bulk gun metal to the metallic parts. Lead belcher works also. If you have Vallejo game color, gunmetal, I believe is the color, gunmetal silver or gunmetal gray, whatever it's called. I highlight the bolt gun metal with a little bit of chain mail, just adding some details to the previous metallics. The edge of the blade, the bullets on the bolt gun. I apply Steel Legion Drab, one of the new base colors from Games Workshop, to the horns. My first highlight on the horns is using Zarnesi Desert, another base color from the new Games Workshop colors. Adding a little bit of bleach bone to the Zarnesi Desert, applying the final highlight to the horns. And then a final wash of Devlin mud to tone it all down and smooth it out. Good old Devlin mud. In case anybody's wondering, Army Painter Strong Ink is also very good for this. It's almost an exact clone of Devlin mud, so. Now previously I had painted in the eye sockets black. Now I'm going in with Mephiston red for the eyes. I'm using a double zero Windsor Newton Series 7 miniature brush to get the eyes, but whatever fine point brush you have is just fine. And you see I kind of went outside the lines there with the red so I just cleaned it up with a little bit of the heavy warm gray. You didn't see it in that shot, but I added a little white dot to the corners of the eyes. This step here is adding the oozing oil from the joints. I use a watered down mix of Abaddon Black. 
You could actually do this with watered down whatever black paint you have, or black ink works really well too. I hit the corners of the eye sockets, uh, some of the horns. Now don't make the mistake that I made and kind of overdo this. I went a little black crazy with this uh, oozing effect, but then I ended up backtracking and toning it down, going over some of it with the uh, heavy warm gray again. But hey, make them as oozy, as oozy as you like. Vallejo game color, Mutation Green, is the color I picked for the second layer of oozing putrids coming out of the joints. A nice goblin green would work also for this, or any bold green you have. I tried a darker green and I didn't like it because it was a little too hidden with the black. So this worked for me. Mutation Green is one of their newer colors, and I like it a lot. In case anybody's wondering why I picked the cleaved, besides the fact that I had that color and I just thought it would really work for it, I don't see anybody else doing this color scheme for their Chaos Marines. And I haven't really seen any tutorials for it, so I figured, hey, maybe I'll be lucky and be the first one. Vallejo Game Color. Dark Flesh Tone is used for the last level of uh, oozing bile coming out of the joints. It's kind of like a rust effect. Again, this is watered down, just thinned out very slightly, just to get a little bit of flow going. And I don't overdo the, uh, the dark flesh tone, just little tiny spots. If you want a rust effect on the weapons, water this down a lot and just apply a thin wash to the to the guns and the knife. You can get a nice rust effect. It's a deep rust effect compared to Beastie Brown, which is more of an orangey. So I break out these Arnesi Desert one more time for the base. This is just the way I'm basing it. Uh, I used some thin cork to create that base stone. Um, you could pretty much do the same thing with gray. There's no rule for no. There's no rules for cut, painting the base. So use your imagination. But I start out with Zarnesi Desert, watered down a little bit. Wait for that to dry thoroughly. Apply Devlin mud all over the base. Uh, use a, sometimes a little bit of water on the brush to spread it out and give it a little different pattern here and there. Now I add a little bit of uh, natural umber, the Vallejo pigment, uh, mixed in with a little bit of alcohol. After that dries, that'll dry very quick. Uh, final step for the base is um, painting the outer trim black. You can go back to the uh, to the base, and I didn't do it personally, but you can do a little dry brush. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this my first tutorial on painting Space Marines. Visit my blog at tinywarriors.blogspot.com. Leave comments and subscribe if you're really nice. Thanks again and goodbye.